there are no longer any restrictions on gaming laptop these days. And if you're specifically looking for a 17-inch device, then ASUS might have the answer. This is the all-new ROG Strix G and the 17-inch variant. I'm gonna check out if it is worth your money. If you remember earlier this year, ASUS brought the ROG Strix 3 and now we have the Strix G, a more affordable series which seems to take inspiration from the more premium range. ASUS is offering the Strix G in 15 and 17 inch screen sizes along with a variety of configurations to choose from and what I have here is the 17 inch G731 model. design is very similar to the ROG Strix 3, including that distinctive RGB LED strip at the bottom. But sadly, there are some cost cuttings. For instance, the entire casing is made out of plastic. Also, ASUS has taken away the keystone security feature on the laptop. But having said that, the notebook doesn't look shabby at all. And from a distance, it is unmistakably an ROG gaming laptop. I got a slightly basic configuration to test here, which includes the 9th generation Intel Core i5 9300H, which is a fairly capable processor paired with Nvidia's GTX 1650 GPU offering 4GB of video memory. There is 8GB of RAM and a 512GB NVMe SSD and to top it off, the 1080p 17.3 inch display offers a refresh rate of up to 144Hz. As I mentioned, there are a variety of configurations available where you can go up to an Intel Core i7-9750H, 32GB of RAM, Nvidia RTX 2070 and dual storage option. You get all basic ports including three standard USB ports on the left side utilizing the USB 3.2 Gen 1 standard, an HDMI port, an Ethernet port set at the back and there's also a headphone and mic combo. Surprisingly, there is no USB Type-C, which is weird in this time and age. Notably, higher configurations of the model do offer this port. Also, there is no SD card slot and for streamers, this is going to be a disappointment because there is no webcam either. The chiclet style keyboard does offer nice RGB backlighting and the overall experience is just about average as they feel quite mushy when it comes to the feedback. The notebook, particularly the model I reviewed, is made for an entry-level gamer or someone who likes to indulge in esports titles. So expect close to 80 FPS on games like PUBG and Apex Legends at medium settings and up to 100 FPS if you further dial down the graphics settings. The high refresh rate display is definitely recommended from my side, although there is no NVIDIA G-Sync available on the Strix G series. Now overall, I was satisfied with the gaming performance, while thermals were pretty much in check, with the center of the keyboard and the rear getting warm under heavy loads. There is a dedicated key to switch between the fan speed profiles, while you can also use the ROG Armory Crate software for enhanced control of the system, as well as the lighting at the bottom and the keyboard. Now for regular tasks like surfing the web and watching videos, checking your emails, this is a mighty powerful machine. The battery will last about 2-4 to four hours depending on the brightness and refresh rate you are set on, which is juiced up using the fairly compact 150W charger. If you go for a higher configuration, the charger is pumped up to a bigger 230W unit. The stereo speakers are not very impressive and you would be better off using headphones to fully appreciate the audio experience. Ah. Well, I had a good time testing out the ROG Strix G. It's not a very bad machine to be very honest. There are some positives and a few negatives. The positive being it's not a very expensive machine and it doesn't break your bank. Other than that, I didn't like the fact that there is no USB Type-C port, which is something very important these days. And also, the options for graphics are a little limited, so you can't expect really high-end gaming on this. But overall, it's a decent package. Uh, I wasn't very happy with the overall design, I mean it's a little plasticky and the keyboard is not very good but uh, there is some nice RGB lighting all around 
and the 144 Hz display is definitely a good addition. But uh, I would say that this is not a premium gaming notebook and if you're out in the market looking for something decent and something within your budget, the ROG Strix G is not a bad option. Okay, let me just get back to another round of Apex Legends.